Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick energy check in and see what's happening in love for some of my Virgos. Now, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. All right. I know, first thing I heard was choked up. So I don't know if this is about communication. Um, hmm. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. What is happening in love for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. So the first card, yeah, we have reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. So do bear in mind that we are still in a Mercury retrograde, okay? Um, and I feel like, it, I think it's in Venus. So, show me going forward. Coming out sideways. So I don't know if some of you are very much blocking your soulmate here or there's some sort of separation from a soulmate. But it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Bottom of the deck, we do have give your relationship a chance. Some of you are going to have some sort of choice to make here. It feels like someone here is trying to call you in. Now, it could just be calling you in, manifesting you in by very much thinking a lot about you here. Um, you know, it's that energy of you're always on my mind kind of a thing. There may be someone here that wants to spend some time with you. Maybe someone here wants to offer to take you away for some other Virgos. For my Virgos in love, Spirit, what is the energy here? Show me, thank you. Show me more. Thank you. And give me two more. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, look at that. What does that say? Rendezvous. It says a private getaway for two is calling you. Yeah, someone here may want to take you away. This may be someone who their where their love language is gifting, um, rather than you know opening up and communicating here. Yeah, I told you, manifesting the one. This is someone who's trying to manifest you in here, and it says workplace romance. So this could have been someone that maybe you met at work here. So, I am seeing, oh, marriage. Okay, could it be someone that you're married to? It says wedding bells are ringing. You have friend zoned. It says a lack of passion in this companionship. Okay, that's interesting. All right. So for some of you, this is someone who has ended some sort of marriage or long-term commitment and they want to reconcile with you. You have let go of the past. It says clear energy to allow more love in your life. They want you to forgive them for something from the past here. And then you have bonding. It says as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. You have last in love. It says this is your true love. Now, for some of you, if this is someone who had some sort of third party situation um, over you, like I said, if they married someone else or they were just in a commitment with someone else here, I feel like that situation may have been based on lust, sex, on physical attraction here. With the friend zone and last in love, this is someone who sees that, you know what, you was the one that would have been able to offer them something stable, something long term, right? It's that authentic love. Yeah, we have physical attraction. It says 
the sacred union of bodies to becoming one. So I don't know. Okay, we'll see what comes out in the tarot. But there's, it's giving me a lot of fire energy, okay? It's almost like, I don't know if for some of you, this is someone who feels like they can correct this situation by um, using a physical connection here. Or this is just someone who is very much, um, I want to say, lusting or, or is very much um, imagining having some sort of connection with you, right? Imagining being with you in that way. Spirit, show me more. What is this reconciliation? Knight of Swords with a full card. Somebody who's wanting to come in real quickly, or this is someone who is finding it challenging to kind of have this Ace of Wands with you. Exactly. What is this reconciliation? Some of Virgos in love. Yeah, they definitely want to heal this. But I don't know, Virgos, it seems like some of you are closed off with the Two of Swords. You could have blocked this person. Maybe you just refuse to deal with them. What is the reconciliation energy? Coming straight out here, the Fool. Now, the Fool talks about taking a leap of faith. The Fool, fool talks about going on that brand new journey, right? Now, starting again. Let's begin again. Aries and Aquarius energy here. Show me more. Mother goes in love. Thank you, Spirit. You have the strength card, Leo energy. What is this for my Virgos? Yeah, but we have the five of wands. Um, I don't know. There could be something here about the number three, the number six. I'm being told to use three cards. Six cards. Okay. But the five of wands, conflict, drama, chaos. Too many people being involved in a situation. I'm also hearing too many people not showing their real face. So show me more. What is the full card? You have the king of pentacles, which is your energy. And it's funny how the fool is kind of turned away from this five of wands. Maybe some of you, like I said, you know, you walked away from this person here. Or you're just taking a leap of faith because you don't want to deal with the drama. You don't want to deal with the conflict here. Maybe someone here had to find the inner strength and the courage and the bravery to walk away from something. But show me more. We've got Ace of Cups. Mm, tower. There's also this energy here where, hmm, Virgos, is this your energy where you may be having some sort of realization I don't know, the Ace of Cups can talk about self-love, right? Maybe you're having some sort of realisation. Maybe it took a tower moment for you to say, do you know what, it's time for me to pour into myself and stop engaging in this kind of energy, Five of Wands. For someone here, maybe you've had some sort of realisation and you're just like, do you know what, my heart lies somewhere else. What is the Strength card? The Magician. Hmm. Okay, for some of you, I'm hearing this energy that you either overcame some sort of love spell or some sort of binding spell. I don't know if somebody was trying to keep you attached to them here. Strength card and the magician. Some of you, it's just the energy of very much, you know what, you having to find that inner strength here to manifest what it is that you actually want in love. So now I'm going to go nine cards. All right, what is this five of wands? There could be something about the number nine. We have a king of swords. Hmm. Somebody causing some sort of interference with a connection. For some of you, this could be a same sex. Doesn't have to be with the two kings out here. Show me more, Spirit. What is the Fool and the King of Pentacles? Yeah, I'm hearing that song by Craig David, I'm Walking Away. 
to find a better day. No more drama in my life. Mm. So we have the moon card. Now the moon card talks about secrets and it talks about fear. What is the moon? Why is it here? Judgment. Mm. Someone here could be leaving at night time. Um, what is this reconciliation spirit? What is the moon? See how the magician wanted to come up with it. We have the four of swords. Yeah, and the four of swords does talk about healing. Or someone here has some sort of regrets about something. The four of swords can also talk about laying something to rest. So show me the strength card and the magician. Strength card and the magician. Thank you. The star card. Yeah, what did I just say? Somebody healing from some sort of spell work. Or just finding the courage to manifest what it is that they want. What is this five of wands and the king of swords? The hermit and the nine of pentacles. Both your energy Virgos. So I don't know if this is competition for you. Or there's some sort of arguments uh, um, involving you here Virgos. Nine of Pentacles, it tells me that some of you are single, um, independent, self-sufficient here. This woman also has a star around her neck. So are you the star? Are you a healer? And what has this got to do with love? Five of Wands and the King of Swords. The Death card. Now, the death card does talk about an ending, but it also talks about change and transformation here. Spirit, why is this five of wands here? What, what is the argument? What is the competition? What is the jealousy? What is the envy here? Why is this five of wands here? The two of wands, okay. Choices, you've got choices in love. And the ten of cups. Feels like for some of my Virgos, there's a few people here that, or I mean, at least two here that can kind of see happiness with you. Ten of Cups talks about um, fulfillment. It talks about reunions, marriage, long-term relationships, stability. Show me more about this Five of Wands. What is this competition? The Queen of Swords. Why oh, is the Queen of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles. If, uh, look at that. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Three of Swords with the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords. Someone here is heartbroken that you moved away because they see that your wish fulfillment. Okay, I was hoping for a different message today, but I see Mercury Retrograde is doing its thing. All right, Spirit, what is the soulmate energy? What is this? Coming out sideways, a blockage, nine of cups. Show me soulmate energy. Coming out sideways, seven of cups. Four of swords. <laughs> Show me more. What is the Knight of Cups? The Lovers. <laughs> I cannot. Seven of Cups, Spirit. Give me the cards. The Six of Wands. How do I get a success? How do I have victory with the Virgo? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, with the Four of Swords. Look at that. Regrets. Regrets that there was some sort of lying, cheating, deception, thief. Something here. Somebody knows that they messed up a good thing because now you've left them out in the cold. Now they have anxiety and stress and worry because they can't communicate with you or they want to communicate with you. Or they don't know how, they don't know what to say because your back is already turned. Questioning, why did I juggle this situation? Because now things are challenging and you don't want to know. Look at that, bored with the offer. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Anything else, Spirit? Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing can't take my eyes off of you. Something about you're too good to be true, or maybe they thought you was too good to be true. I don't know. The tower. There's that epiphany. There's that realization that you are the empress or you are some sort of divine person. Six of swords. Move to karma waters. What is the four of swords and the seven of swords? Coming out sideways, you have the three of pentacles. Someone here regrets working with someone. I don't know why it landed on that magician here, okay? But the three of pentacles talks about teamwork. Why did that three of pentacles land on the magician? Oops. Four of cups. Why did the three of pentacles land on the magician spirit? The four of pentacles. Show me more. The page of wands. The magician. And the eight of wands. Yeah, definitely some sort of action that someone took towards you. It feels repetitive as well. Um... Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever they did here, <laughs> it feels like it didn't work, right? There's regrets here. Um, it's a missed opportunity now for someone. So it feels like spirit, you know, kind of the universe played something out just the way it was meant to, right? Um, yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow. Big opportunity missed here. So what is this magician? What did this person do that they actually regret here, spirit? You definitely recovered from something. It makes me feel like if this was some sort of spell work that you were too strong for it. Now, definitely in the strength card, the woman is standing beside a lion. So definitely it feels like your ancestors and angels came in and played a part in a situation. Yeah, look at that. Can't let you go. For my Virgos in love. Number nine could be significant here. What is this magician? Thank you, spirit. All right, two more shuffles. Anything else from this deck? Okay. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. For my Virgos in love. Thank you. Okay. We have at the bottom of the deck, it says, is this love or lust? It says, this is not the time for judging. It's the time for healing. It says, love is the way forward. And then you have my family got in the way. You have Libra energy, you have Aries, it says you know my every thought, how? You have Taurus, you have you are protected by your grandpa. I hate that you're happy without me, Pisces. It says please reconsider us, please. It says I stayed for the children. It says let's make a family. I'm hiding a secret child, can you forgive me? It says I dream about you. I put a spell on you and it's backfiring. Please don't hold my past against me. I've changed. I was trying to please everyone. Virgo. Jail time. Gemini. Have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. It says, uh-oh. Aquarius. You are protected by your grandma. It says, love you, baby. Number nine. Temptation. The devil. Not today. I can't let you go. I just don't feel the same anymore. Scorpio. You're my soulmate. I can feel it. You have Leo. You have pour your own drinks. It says spike. It says I have too many options to choose one. Is that you saying that Virgo? You have too many options to choose one. So you're just going to choose nobody. I feel you. <laughs> All right. Where's my other cards? 
So spirit, who is this soulmate? Energy for my Virgos. Uh, before I ask, what am I seeing quite heavy out here? Um... I think I'm seeing everything, to be honest. I think I'm seeing everything. Who's this soulmate energy for my Virgos that has missed this opportunity? Straight out there, we have Virgo. <laughs> Your energy here, Virgo. So maybe it's another Virgo that's a soulmate. Doesn't have to be. Show me more. What is this soulmate energy for my Virgo? So you have Mars coming out here. Now, the first, I saw Mars in the deck and the first thing I heard, I don't know what exactly Mars represents, but I did hear Aries. So. Who is this soulmate energy for my Virgos? Some of you may end up marrying a Virgo. No other signs, Spirit? I guess your soulmate's a Virgo. I don't know. <laughs> I know, they're not giving me anything else. Spirit, there must be another sign. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm done. <laughs> Who's this soulmate energy for my Virgos? Yeah, I don't know. So that's what we have coming out. Virgo, we have Uranus at the bottom of the deck and Pluto. Leo energy. So what is the advice here, Spirit? What is the advice here? Definitely for someone to put their pride behind them if they want happiness. But give me three cards. My Virgo's in love. Ooh, okay. I saw the word envy. So again, someone here could have did something out of jealousy, envy, hate. Right. Yeah, show me one more. My mother goes in love. Thank you, Spirit. Uh oh. Hmm. No, I don't know if you can hear that. There was definitely some sort of <clears throat> interference here. Um, definitely someone here was trying to cause some sort of um chaos. Some sort of arguments here. Um, okay. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says balance. It says, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so with judgment. You have guilt. And it says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So release guilt here. You know, it's that energy of moving forward here, especially with the balance and the judgment, you know, moving forward here, making the right choices. I'm also hearing being fair and just. So we have courage. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So this could also be with a strength card, the magician, like I said, someone here may be um, trying to or wanting to manifest a certain situation and wanting to manifest healing in a certain situation. But it's going to take courage. It's going to take strength, right? So that is just the energy that I picked up here today, Virgos. Just doing a little check-in. If anything resonated with you in the reading, do hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.